This is a warning to all the e-mountain bike sticklers. This video is probably not for you. Just saying. Super early in the morning. Big end of a stressful trip. A huge deviation to stay here in Prescott. Was not planning on it, but here we are. So this whole region of Arizona is like a hot spot for mountain bike trails. I knew Prescott had some. In the research, I found Mingus Mountain and the Bean Peaks. And so I did hit Mingus Mountain. That's another video that I'll do in and of itself. And then after that, I went to the Bean Peaks to check it out. When I got close to it, I found that no e-bikes are supposed to be on it. And all I have are e-mountain bikes, but an e-mountain bike is not the same thing as an e-bike. And I should be fairly okay if I go on these trails so long as I'm respectful and I'm not full powering around people. Finally found it. It's called White, you gotta turn on White Spar Road and find White Spar Campground and then you're right at it. Right at it. Can I get past you? Got earphones in. Yeah. All right, so I'm going up this trail in fantastic fashion. I believe I can do this probably five, six, seven times or until the battery gets too worn out. I can probably hit all these trails carrying this type of momentum up the shuttle hill. I'll be able to have a much better experience because I'm on this thing. And this is not just Prescott. There are just so many places in Arizona where the best trails you have to climb forever for. Especially if you're going to Flagstaff to hit Mount Eldon or you're going to Sedona to hit Munns Park or wherever. You need to be able to climb in that type of elevation and be in that type of shape to enjoy the tracks coming down. And this way I can enjoy the descents in a much beefier, more capable bike in that case versus having to run a light cross-country bike just to make it easier. Which one's hard? What's that? Which one's a hard trail? Are you on a blue trail now? Yeah. All right. Thank you. Surprisingly, everybody was just chill. Nobody really cared that I was on an e-bike. I just tried to be respectful. At times I turned the modes completely off, like around these gentlemen. A lot of times I just kept the sitting in eco. So this is like a sub 60 pound bike and putting it in eco makes it like it's a 30 or 29 pound bike. And if you're ever going to ride with like a mixed crew of standard and e-bikes, then Eco is probably going to be the one you use. And then there'll be times where you just turn the modes off completely because it's just that type of ride. And then when you want, put them back on and buzz up the trail. Oh, spicy bean. There we go. Let's see what you got, spicy bean. Okay, yeah, promising right off the bat. Bring back to my BMX days. Okay, search that one out. Oh, I could have done that. Oh, shit. Yeah, not used to jumping in this bike. Just roll over them. You don't have the skill. You got the skill to go fast, but not to go up. That's fine. You can still go over those. You just have to be... I really almost ate shit there. I realize I don't have any gloves. Oh. Hey. Crap. Thanks. Yeah, no What? 
Oh, I don't have it. I don't have it in e-mic. You want to see an e-mic? No, look, look. There we go. Yeah, the super light ones you might not be able to detect, but the full power ones you can hear them if they're on. Oh yeah. Yeah. How is that thing? Does it rip or what? It's got to be pretty heavy. It is heavy, but if you put it if you put it in eco, then it's just like the same like as if you're riding a light bike like that. Uh -huh. So you just take the weight of the bike away. Oh, that's and then cool. the other modes help you. But it's not like you peel up the road or doing. You just you just yeah, yeah, you just yeah. climb like you're an Olympian. Right, right. And that doesn't help you on the descent. I didn't know Husky made mountain bikes. That's cool. They just started. Huh. This thing is rad. It's super cheap for the money. Nice. And then you can have all this extra travel, just climb and like having low travel to, to help you climb that is no more a thing. Yeah. Like you can just have seven oh, yeah. inches, go up it and then sure. have a fun time down. Like, yo, well, thanks well, man. Oh yeah, have fun. Have a good ride. Oh. Which, does that go that way? Is that uh, what that is? Yeah, that one goes up and that'll take you to the, the second landing and then you'll come down on the blue one. Oh, sweet, okay. Yeah. Maybe I'll not go that way. Let's go this way. Thanks. Spicy bean was done. Okay, so no doubles, just nice flowy singles. Yeah. Very nice. Oh, yeah. Drift that stupid corner. Get it. Oh, dude, this trail is so sick. Hello? You fly into a bunch of logs if you don't watch it. But still, That one was red. All right, we'll take the green one because we have to. There's no other trails to take. We took them all, but that blue trail was fun. So I thought at first, just by the other few trails, that this was relatively small and they're just a bunch of small trails. But if you go up this one green trail, it leads to a branch of other either more aggressive or more pleasant trails you got to do a little bit of a climb where you actually start to get up to the top of the bean peaks before you run into more options Okay, we got to mute this video until we get away from that guy. He was talking really explicit content and bearing a soul to his friend. Apparently he had some stuff to get off his chest. I think the entire mountain probably hurt him. But now we're on the Limey Bean Trail, which it states to be a blue trail. So we'll see. So this goes on for quite a while. You climb for a good bit, which means that you'll eventually have to go back down to the parking lot so there'll be some cool descents. When you exit out your mouse, it legit feels like you got a flat tire. Or maybe my tires are losing pressure because they both have had holes in them. Maybe. No. Still pretty good. I'm still keeping him a little dude with no modes on. Or was. See if I can catch him with nothing. Let's go. Catch him, catch him, catch him. 
have a 60 pound bike with no e-cest. I'd like to clear up the odd rumor of you can't enjoy slow climbs in an e-bike because you're too busy going too fast. That is a personal problem. Do not push your problems onto the rest of the community. You can climb however slow or however fast you want. You simply just select the mode you want to be in. The lower the mode, the more work you have to do to go not near as fast. It's simple. If you're on a trail, you know it's short and you know you're not going to want to repeat it, go in a slower mode and get the workout on the trail. If you want to go up and down the trail multiple times, then maybe kick it up a notch. And I'm following this gentleman for one because he's really nice. I spoke to him earlier too because I don't want to mess up his momentum and cadence because he's like pushing extremely hard. So I'm trying to be quiet behind him. And three, just to show people that you can have mixed groups. You guys can ride together. You can get the same type of workout, same type of experience and it's not a big deal. You might be mixing a pack of really in shape individuals on lighter, faster bikes, and your natural speed might have to be the tour or trail mode simply to keep up with them at that level. There's elite mountain bikers out there that will smoke you in a standard bike, and it doesn't matter how many modes are on that bike or how much torque it has, you'll just get left. Where your best chance is just to hope you don't get dropped so far that you can't see them anymore. Or it might be like this point where you might just have to turn it down all the way or turn it off. What I can say is this climb was so long, I had to fast forward it forever. And this gentleman has been climbing up this for like a very long time. So respect. Which one do you think is more fun? If I had to choose between cool beans and- I like them both. This yeah. one's real continuous. There's no brakes in it. This one has more features. Like it's more fast and flowy? This one's- yeah, this one's steeper, okay. flowy. It's got a lot of berms and a lot of tabletops. This one's sweet. Okay. not quite as steep, but it got a lot of merit. All right, thanks. Yeah. This is more like a legitimate trail here. Ooh. Okay, I almost ate it. That was embarrassing. Even know what happened. What did I hit? Ow! Oh, get off the trail before you get ran over. Is this broken now? Dude, no. Oh. Spike is done for. Oh, they ripped off. Okay. All right. Oh, damn it. There goes riding this bike to fly unless I get it repaired today. That's just fixed. Still fun trail. Still very fast to fly. I like it. Yeah. The motor's still on. These berms are so key. It's 
so hard to make them too. So glad they're here. Okay, this bike needs a tune-up. Still got the trick. So I brought two bikes. My shifter controller's hanging off by it. Look at it, it's all hanging. I can't even freaking use it. Oh, I can use it. Yes, yeah, shift. It's still in a mode too. It's like in an eco mode. So it's not com so it's not completely dead. I think it knows it's a smart system whenever it was on. Maybe it knew it crashed. I think heaven it knew I crashed. That's good. No. Why don't? Oh. That was, a, that was a lot of speed. Oh, there goes the end of the berms. That was fun. That was nice. That was very good. What? The, what? Thoughts on that weather? <laughs> well, I'm so happy. Intermediate, beginner, beginner, intermediate. Which one's faster, punter? This one is a climb. But you get four tabletops and then. Sounds good to me. Thank you, sir. Yeah. It's taking bean sprout. All right. Have fun. All right. So generally the Ecomo will just take the weight away from the bike. So instead of a, like a 55 or a sub 60 pound bike, it's only like 30. And thank heaven it gave me that. Otherwise it would have been absolutely miserable to push this thing up and down this hill but it's pretty much just a standard bike at this point. So I'm kind of running on my own merits with no real assist from the motor. I think that's a pretty awesome safety feature in the event of a crash, just so you can limp the bike back home. It's struggling with finding the parts to fix that thing and then dealing with the cost. That's the bigger problem here. But in closing, I want to end my review of the Bean Pinks as an awesome place to go for anybody to try. But I really didn't plan to come here. I was actually passing through and this is a rather impulsive mountain bike trip that I just took on a whim because it was here and so was I. But I'll never come here again until they make this place friendly for class one e-mountain bikes. Because truth be told, there's other places like Flagstaff and Phoenix that are e-mountain bike friendly and they have trails just as good as this. So because that has happened and Prescott really has no leverage, you're just gonna be missing out on all that money in tourism. I dropped a lot of money during the few days that I had to stay here and I would do it again because it was nice, but just so are other places. Speaking of other places, we are heading to Flagstaff next where I take on four of what I think are gonna be their best trails. I'll leave that video up here. So if you're interested in mountain biking in Arizona, I'm trying to map the entire state and I'm picking them off one major city at a time and Flagstaff is next on my menu. So let me know what you think. Should e-mountain bikes be allowed on trails like these or do you side with all the old heads and Karens of the mountain bike world and think they have no place here? Regardless of what your opinion is, thank you for taking the time to view this video. Please hit a like, share the video to your friends, spread the awareness, whatever you gotta do, but also have fun. See you guys out there.